Turn to page two of Leadership BS at the top. Why is this book worth our time? Number one, we have this fantasy view of finding a wonderful workplace. Reality says that's not going to happen. Two, everyone agrees there is a serious shortage of good leaders and good leadership. We assume that leadership training will produce better leaders, many better leaders. we got to have better leaders. Let's train them. It's not happening. Training is not working. Number three, if what we have been doing is not worked and is not working, what do we do? It starts with measuring and fixing. Start with baseline measuring and then measure outcomes. Circle number three, that's the point of the book. Right there. All right. I'm going to read a number of the key quotes. I'm going to go very rapidly. Stay with me on the page. Number two. Much of the oft-repeated conventional wisdom about leadership is based more on hope than reality. Circle that phrase. We hope it works. On wishes rather than data. On beliefs instead of science. Number four. I began the writing of Leadership BS with a simple, albeit ambitious, goal to cause people to rethink, to reconceptualize, and to reorient their behaviors concerning the important topic of leadership. You want to be a leadership coach? You can go to an institute or enroll in one of many programs of varying quality and rigor that train coaches with varying degrees of skill, but you don't have to do even that. You can start a website and say, I'm a coach, and now you can be a coach. And a lot of people do that. Turn to page three. In a world with too many disengaged, dissatisfied, disaffected, disaffected employees, and workplaces with too many leaders and aspiring leaders losing their jobs, that's a key part of this book. If leadership was working, they'd be keeping their jobs. I feel compelled to make the best case I can for what's wrong with leadership and what might be done to change things for the better. By calling BS on so much of what goes on, this book gives people a closer, more scientific look at many dimensions of leadership behavior. Most important, it encourages everyone to finally stop accepting sugar-laced but toxic potions as cures. Here are my six lessons and takeaways. It isn't working. Leadership training and development isn't working. We really should try something different. Number two. And so number six, a, a quick thought. This is Randy Mayu with his training in, in rhetoric about stasis and persuasion and change. This book is almost pure stasis. It slaps you in the face. This book brings us to a standstill, a stopping point, forcing us to stop and think. If what we're doing isn't working, we got to figure out what else to do. Leadership BS, fixing workplaces and careers one truth at a time. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much.